Ihano, it's good to be with you. Thanks for joining us. Fractures within the Democratic Party may be reaching a breaking point, imperiling Pres President Biden's domestic agenda. He met with key House Democrats Wednesday in an attempt to smooth things over. But some members of the party think the president's target of three and a half trillion dollars in climate and social spending are out of the realm of possibility. Meanwhile, the White House is facing criticism over its handling of migrants seeking asylum at the southern border. The administration is chartering flights, deporting Haitians back to their nation in a time of political peril. The nation is still reeling after a severe earthquake and the assassination of their president. Members of the Congressional Black Caucus have called on the White House to suspend the Border Patrol agents who were photographed on horseback rounding up migrants in Del Rio, Texas. Plus, at a virtual COVID-19 summit this morning, President Biden said it was the responsibility of wealthy nations to donate, not sell, doses of the vaccine to the rest of the world. He announced the launch of a vaccination partnership with the European Union and made this commitment. The United States is buying another half billion doses of Pfizer to donate to low- and middle-income countries around the world. This is another half billion doses that will all be shipped by this time next year. And it brings our total commitment to of, donation, of donated vaccines to over 1.1 billion vaccines to be donated. Put another way, for every one shot we've administered to date in America, we have now committed to do three shots to the rest of the world. And it seems President Biden is patching things up with his French counterpart, Emmanuel Macron. It comes after a dispute over a nuclear submarine deal between the U.S. and Australia. The White House released this photo of the leaders speaking by phone. They agreed to continue working together toward common objectives. And France says it will return its ambassador to the U.S. Ed O'Keefe, Zeke Miller, and Catherine Lucy join me now. Ed is CBS News senior White House and political reporter. Zeke is a CBSN political contributor and White House reporter for the Associated Press. And Catherine is a White House reporter for the Wall Street Journal. Welcome to you all. Catherine, let me start with you. New polling shows 62 percent of Iowa voters disapprove of